Worcester's Green Sky Solar Panels have been developed to provide a sustainable method of providing hot water for the home. The panels are designed to be used in conjunction with a hot water cylinder so that the energy from the sun's rays can be stored and used throughout the day. In most cases, the best and most convenient location for the solar panels is on a south-facing roof. But if you haven't got a south-facing roof, then a south-westerly will do. Failing that, it is possible to mount these panels on brackets to give the same angle that you would get on a roof and to put those brackets on a patio, somewhere in the garden, or even on a flat roof. The important thing is that that angle and the south-facing aspect maximizes the exposure to the sun. Now, when the sun's rays hit the panel, the heat from the rays is transferred into the water and glycol, which is an antifreeze solution, which is being pumped through the panels, through the copper tubes. And this water is taken down through a coil in the cylinder to heat the hot water. Now the question that everybody asks is, is there enough heat from the sun in the UK to make solar panels worthwhile? Well, it's a very sunny day today, but we all know that for a lot of the time the British Isles is covered in a blanket of cloud. But these panels have been developed to make the maximum use of any sunlight that's around. So the diffuse sunlight is fine, you will pick up heat. And it's interesting to note that actually the UK receives about 65% of the solar radiation that you get from a country like Spain. So we're not that far down. And in the summer, you can get, say, 80 to 90% of your hot water requirement from the solar panels alone. And even in the winter, 20 to 30% is realistic. So these solar panels do make a really valuable contribution to your heating of hot water. The work on the roof is kept to a minimum, apart from mounting the brackets and putting the panels on there, the connections to the pipework are done by simple push fit connections and that just makes the whole thing a quick and easy installation. The copper pipework is actually connected up inside the roof space. This neat little box on the wall is the heart of the system. It contains the pump which moves the water from the solar panel down through the cylinder coil and back up to the solar panel again and the whole thing is designed to make the installation as simple as possible. It includes the filling point, pressure relief valve, pressure gauge, an expansion vessel plus a couple of thermometers to monitor the temperature of the flow and return from the solar panel and the whole thing is controlled by a very simple plug-in electronic control unit which is over the other side of the room. The control panel measures the temperature of the water in the solar panel and also the temperature of the water in the cylinder. The panel temperature is 84 degrees centigrade and the cylinder is 62 degrees centigrade. So the panel is hotter than the cylinder, which means that water will be pumped. When the sun goes in and the temperature of the panel goes down, then the unit will stop pumping. So it's a fully automatic system.